1025 The Game. All right, Super Bowl 46 coverage continues from Radio Row on 1025 The Game. Joined now by Leslie Visser, CBS Sports, and the only woman in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Say it again. The only <laughs> woman in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. What an honor. First you of all, just, let's just start with that. I mean, yeah. Pro Football Hall of Fame. You know, it was staggering, and um, it was the it was a great class. It was John Madden, wow. Reggie White, and Troy Aikman. Wow. And um, John wrote me like a little note saying, just for him too, you know, how, how extraordinary this is because you can't be born into the Hall of Fame, you can't buy your way into the Hall of Fame, you have to earn it. So it, it's really an astonishing. Talk about the art of the sideline reporter. Mm. And, and you really pave the way for, you know, because there are more mediums now, more networks. Yeah. There, because of you, especially women out there who love sports said, I want to do that. I want to do what she does. And there are more of them able to do it now. Correct. Well, I have to say, when I started, I was the first woman to cover the NFL back in 75 and 6. I wrote for the Boston Globe. And you're a little bit young, but our sports section, were they were the best in history. It was yeah. Bud Collins on tennis, Peter Gammons yeah. on baseball, Bob Ryan on basketball. And right. so the Globe said, we're going to make her the first woman to cover an NFL team as a beat. And it was the Patriots. Mm -hmm. And um, back then, you're, I mean, this might sound like nothing, but this is how far it's come. We didn't have, I didn't have ladies' rooms. I was the only woman writing history. To, so I used to have to say, the Patriots have the ball, first and 10 on their own 20. Can I get down the press box, across the field, go to the restroom, and get back before they punted? So the um, opportunity is now for or women. Or just hold it for four hours. <laughs> you know what I wondered? Um, <laughs> it, uh, in that tennis match, did you happen to catch the... Um, the Nadal Djokovic that went on for six hours. Yeah, yeah. I wondered how does the chair umpire sit there for six mm. hours? Hopefully he's not you know sipping on water the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I'm ready to pass <laughs> he's out. He's thinking of the desert. <laughs> um, we were talking off air before you came on. You were on the sidelines for Super Bowl 34. I was up in the press box, and and you were just saying that Sports Illustrated named the tackle that. Titans fans remember and Rams fans remember as the number, number one moment in Super Bowl history. And you had kind of thought you've covered many Super Bowls, yeah. been on the sidelines for, for many, and you, you, you agree. I, I, mean, I was so shocked to see that because um, I was on the sideline for Vinatieri when who was Tom Brady and they came back and beat the Rams. And I mean, many of them, many of those singular, uh, you know, like I would have thought maybe. Plexico Burris, you know, maybe that one, or um, the Arizona Pittsburgh. Right. But uh, but I felt it of all the Super Bowls, that crucible moment, you know, that was such. I mean, it wasn't a field goal that can be dry. You know, it's a it's uh, no one's coming against you in a field right. goal. Right. So it's dramatic, but it's not you against me. Mm -hmm. And um, but that was, I mean, remember Dyson stretching yeah. and yeah. Mike Jones and who was Mike Jones? Right. He was never heard from again. Right. Uh, and what an amazing game because it, we were just talking to Dick Vermeil and, and he even thought, he told Mike Martz, get ready for overtime. Yeah. You know, we, we up in the press box, I'm thinking, hey, we're going to have our first overtime Super Bowl and it's going to be involving the Titans. Um, so that made it that much more dramatic as, as well. But like you said, it's kind of mano a mano, man versus man. And and I remember and how the back and things. forth. How um, by the way, isn't Dick Vermeil just the greatest? He's I mean, awesome. He, oh God, he's been great to me for thirty years. And he's seventy-five, and, and seems like he's fifty. Uh, I mean, he could be, be coaching. I mean, it must be the wine, or maybe it's yeah. Cold Stone Creamery. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> but you know what? He um, he was that staff. I mean, what they had Martz on it. Didn't they have like yeah. four future head coaches? Right, right. And for them. Uh, remember Isaac Bruce came back after the Titans? Well, of course she did. Yeah, the yeah. Titans took the lead, and then that ridiculous 80-yard play, whatever yeah. it was. Well, when Isaac Javon Bruce. Curse was yeah. within an eyelash or sacking Kurt Warner, but he gets it away, and Isaac Bruce scores, and you know. Uh, and then McNair, yeah. remember he did it in bits and pieces. Yeah. He moved him, moved it. It was yeah. so dramatic. It was so yeah. dramatic, and I mean, it's a really tough ending for the Titans uh, fans. Really yes. tough. Yes, yeah, the really players uh, are still <laughs> still you, sore about it. Do you know I'm a <laughs> uh, longtime Red Sox fan, and so yeah. I was writing for the globe during buckner yeah. and i know that desolate feeling and i've had titan fans say they felt that 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 yeah. was like the whole city exhaled yeah after that yeah but what a program right what yeah. a team all right you are talking about cold stone creamery we have a number of them in tennessee <laughs> nashville <laughs> and knoxville um good stuff now what's the deal with it 
you know, normally, as you guys know, it's the, you know, they create it for you right there, and mm-hmm. it's it's not hard packed. It's it's whatever you want. But now they're uh, encouraging uh, yogurt, like slenderizing. They have lots of different flavors. But I have to say, like you have Oreo overload there, mm. and I have to say that's what I really <laughs> I go for. I mean, obviously, I watch my weight, but um, my favorite is of all not Cookie Minster, which some people really love, but I love the pie who loved me. <laughs> is that the best? Don't you want to eat that? The pie who loved me. <laughs> yeah, I got to try that. I got to try that. So they have something special going on in the month of February, right? They do. It's where uh, it's yogurt, which we're hoping yeah. people, you know, they should catch on to it. I mean, right. uh, Cold Stone is such high quality. Mm-hmm. It's such oh, a yeah. premium, and now it's going to be premium yogurt. So. Yeah, Nashville. I've been about three of them in Nashville myself. Nice, nice. So. All right, finally, uh, the game itself. Uh, so, obviously, I guess with your heart, you, you pull for the Patriots. Logic, how do you how do you um, analyze this one? You know, not really now. I'm really just a Red Sox fanatic, but um, although the Patriots let me be the first woman, right. I have great right. affection. I'm very close to, it was then Billy Sullivan, now, of course, Bob Kraft. But... Um, the Giants, I've been with them at CBS, where the, as you know, the AFC network, right. but they send me to the NFC playoffs. So I've been with the Giants since Atlanta, then they went to Green Bay, then they went to San Francisco. And when you see a team, they shut out Atlanta. That was a penalty. The two points were a penalty. Yeah. They had those two fourth and one stops. Then they go and they knock Aaron Rodgers yeah. into the Pro Bowl. <laughs> yeah, right. And, uh, and then they go to San Francisco against arguably one of the two best defenses. You know, and they win that. So you, w- when you're with a team over that whole momentum, um, you know, of course, on the other side is the, the greatness of Belichick and Brady. Like, you know, that's like Chuck Knoll and Terry Bradshaw. You know, there are so many. They, they are now their own institution. So you know that Belichick will have something. But I really feel like the Giants on both sides of the ball are getting it done. All right. A lot of people are liking the Giants. Leslie Visser, it's been a, pres- uh, a pleasure. You're a true pro, uh, and uh, and uh, a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for joining us. The only woman in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I can't wait to Very find cool. you in Nashville. Thank you, Aaron. Right, come see us there. <laughs> Thank you.